Hey baby girls, hey! Welcome to a new video. Today we are doing a little TBR, but not a monthly TBR, no. So it's kind of all the books that I want to read now, but it's also the books that I've like kept off to read. Let's just get into it. The first book that I want to read after my exams is powerless so i actually already started it i'm on like page 200 i think but i just really want to finish this series not because i'm not enjoying it just because i like want to know that what everyone else knows and i kind of want to bond with everyone yeah i'm only on powerless and i so i still have like two more books to go so far this is not my fave i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of bored also because i read flawless i didn't love it and then i read heartless and it just went like really, really quick and easy. And I think I read that like super quick. I remember I was reading like 30 pages in like 10 minutes. Like it was actually insane. Just cause it was so well written and that was like so easy to process what was going on. I also really want to read this so I can also start the Rose Hill series, the, the Wild Love one. Then the next book that I want to read is also a part of a series. Like I want to read the whole series, but I didn't want to take the whole series. Like put it up here cause that's just, too much effort it's too much effort my um, no the naturals but i just really want to read this entire series i am going to do a reading vlog on the series like i'm going to probably read the whole series in one week and then just because i've seen people read this series in like a day because it's that good but i want to savor it a little bit because to sum this up i've heard it's kind of like young adult criminal minds and if you know anything about me i adore criminal minds it's like my favorite show i have two posters on the other side of my room i love it criminal minds is like a special place in my heart uh the fbi made a classified program that uses exceptional teenagers to crack infamous cold cases and they need like this girl and i'm i'm not sure if it's like they crack a case per book or it's like kind of like one in like an entirety or like i don't know what is gonna go on or if it's like multiple small ones in one book i'm just super excited for this also because it's young adult and i feel like you're gonna like be able to get through that a lot easier and also i read the inheritance games like that series finished that quite a while back i think in like september and i loved the last two which was um the hawthorne legacy and the final gambit the hawthorne legacy was perfection uh, was a five star, the final comment as well, but like the whole thing, I guess he had that just like that bit, like a bit more of a oof. And I just need another five star. I've only had one five star in 2024, so we need to get that going. I haven't read as much as I usually would. I think I'm like seven books behind on my Goodreads goal because of my exam, so I have like shit to catch up on. So right now, I'm reading like two books. Moving on, so if you saw my most recent book haul, which I filmed in like I think November. November or December but um all those books are were put away until now so I bought them but I technically couldn't have them yet like they weren't all my physical TBR yet they were just in my house and now I've been like unwrapping one every single day because I didn't want to get them all at once so that I've also would have like an opportunity to kind of like read them if you know what I, I don't know if that makes sense um but my mom wrapped them all and I haven't unwrapped them I have like I've unwrapped like four or five now but those obviously include books that I also really want to read now because like I've been waiting to get these to open them but if you saw that then you kind of know because some of these books are from that list I'm more excited for them because I just unwrapped them as well anyway one of those books was Bride Everyone and their mom has read this by now and I felt like I'm so behind on this. I still haven't read Love Theoretically. The amount of good things I've heard about this. I haven't really seen any bad reviews about it either. I've only seen like a few people being like, oh, I don't know if like this is something for me because it is like paranormal, I'm pretty sure. I know that this is going to be on my alley. The next book was also from the pile that I still had to open, but that is Mile High. Ah! I'm so excited to start the series. The rest of the series is still in the pile that I haven't unwrapped yet. So I'm like super, super stoked because I've heard so many good things about this, this series as a whole, but especially the second book, which is The Right Move. I don't necessarily know what holds these books together. Like, I don't know if they're all sports romances because I don't, I know that he's, I think a hockey player. Yeah, he's a hockey player and she's a flight attendant. So, and I think maybe the second book is also a hockey player. Let me look it up. Oh no, but they are all sports romances. I just have heard so many good things about this. The only thing that's kind of scaring me about these books is the size. Because this one is like 570 like pages. What do you mean? What do you mean it's that long? And I'm pretty sure that the second book is even longer. Like, I, I just want to know, like, what are you going to write about? I have seen some mixed reviews about this one, though. I think maybe some people think it's like a bit dragged out. But um, I'm just happy it's on Kindle Unlimited, so at least I can, like, fly 
The next book is also part of a series. So this is again, I want to read like the entire series and that is the Shatter Me series. So I actually have a video of me reading Shatter Me um, to kind of see if I wanted to read that series. Then I got the first novella to kind of like see again because I still wasn't sure. And then I just bought the entire series because there was a box set on for a very, very reasonable price. I'm going to do like a whole reading vlog of this because I, because I've seen everyone that has read this series, like almost reads it in one week and they read it in like one go. And I also feel like that's the best thing to do for me because with so many books and so many novellas, like I feel like it's just going to be too much for me. Because then I'm also going to like forget things because I forgot a lot of what happened in Shatter Me. And I'll probably just read a quick summary. So like I'm like caught up before I go into this. I just remember that the writing style was pissing me off a little bit so that scares me then the next book was actually gifted to me but i'm still so excited to read this like i'm so happy that the author reached out to me and told me about it because why am i so intrigued so this is a liar's twisted tongue look at this fucking cover i'll let you read the back because there's it's like a fantasy book right there's too many names that i'm not gonna embarrass myself trying to pronounce Did you get it? It does remind me a lot of like the synopsis of Powerless. I feel like a lot of like fantasy books right now, they have like a very similar idea, but I feel like the execution will probably be like totally different. Why is this font so fucking small? Then the next book on the CBR is pretty self-explanatory. I still remember the ending of A Court of Mist and Fury so well. I remember sitting on my couch literally like being like, what the fuck was that? I immediately bought this one because I was like, I need this, but I remember it, I think I read it in like November. If I, even if I had the time, I wouldn't have like the mental peace and the mental like capacity to give everything I wanted to this book, which made me feel guilty if I like would read it and then not like it because I didn't, I wasn't able to give it my full potential, my full focus, because that's the thing a lot of books that I do have high expectations for, I don't want to read them in like a bad like mindset or when I'm not focused or when I don't really have the time because I feel like that I'm not giving them a fair shot. And if I know that the book is going to be like average, then like I don't really care. But like something like this and I know also because it's like fantasy, I need the brain space and I need the time and the energy to actually put it all of that in this. So, so excited because some people they say that Core of Mist and Fury is better. Some people say that this one's better because I've heard that this one's a bit more action packed. There's a bit more war going around. I mean, it says it in the name, Core of Wings and Ruin. Um, I mean, not really, but it goes like Aqua War. So in my head, it's just like war. Then the next book on this list is also pretty self-explanatory, but also not really because you, you're you probably thinking, Sophia, why have you not read this yet? And that is King of Wrath. So I still haven't read King of Wrath. I've read none of the books out of the series, but I, I'm going to do a reading vlog. So now I'm going to get, I think, a King of Sloth. And then I think what I'll do is I'll also just sit down and read the series because like romance books don't take a lot of brain power most of the time and i also kind of want to be like caught up with everyone and i just want to know what the hype is about i want to kind of like rank them i want to see where i'm at and since the next booking of envy is not going to come out until i think february i think i just want to do that now and then i can do maybe like a mini reading vlog of those other three that are going to come out eventually but the amount of times i've almost read this and almost picked it up and i just didn't because i was in the mood or in the mindset or whatever um but i did do a reading vlog on the twisted series so i feel like it's kind of fair if i do a reading vlog on the first four of the King of Sin series as well. So many people say that this is their favorite Anna Huang book. Like somebody even said that King of Sloth was better than Twisted Games. And like Twisted Games wasn't my favorite Twisted book. You would think that the people that do love Twisted Games, that they that nothing will be able to top that for them. You know what I mean? Like those are like very like passionate fans. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into this. Then the next book on this list is indigo ridge i actually got this for christmas because i it was on offer for like seven euros on amazon or like eight which is insane for dutch amazon like usually especially american like books that are like published in america you cannot get them for cheaper than 15 if i this is available in my local bookstore for like 13 euros like no no that's my answer to that so and i really wanted to read the series and it was just taken off fucking kid not limited which i think is so rude i'm sorry disgusting and then i read the novella because there's a novella that become, that's like a kind of like a prequel to the entire series and it actually took place during christmas and i read it over christmas i was like oh this is perfect um also to kind of see if i did want this one because if i didn't like like the prequel then there's no point but i enjoyed it i enjoyed the writing and this is like a suspense like like a rom 
romance, suspense, suspense for romance, something like that. I have never read something like that and I feel like that's just gonna like, I feel like it's gonna be, again, right out my alley. Um, because if you are a true watcher, a true follower, you know that it's all, like it's either romance or like mystery, like murder mystery thriller for me most of the time. Um, you can see literally by these two shelves. And then obviously a bit fancy here and there, but I'm not really like a general fiction or like a literary fiction girl. I am, give me, give me pure escapism. That's, that's really what I want. And I feel like this is gonna like mix two of my favorite genres together. And I feel like that's just, I'm really gonna enjoy that. And then of course I can also see if I then wanna continue the series or not. Then the next book is also not really a shocker. Again, it kind of speaks for itself. Everyone's read this and their mom and their grandma and their grandkids whatever and i haven't and i just need to be on the same wavelength as everyone and you can be like yeah but you're having fomo like what if you wouldn't actually enjoy the book like why are you only reading books that popular people are reading one i have a youtube channel and i feel like for you guys i owe it to you to kind of like read the popular books to give you guys like my opinion my review to kind of like give a different perspective because that's what i have my favorite like booktubers and people on TikTok, that I follow on TikTok, I'm waiting for them to read a book to see if I should read it. Do you know what I mean? I know for like certain genres, like I have very similar tastes to them and like ratings and stuff like that. With this, it's the same and I've seen so many people, I mean there's mixed reviews because some people are like, yeah, I didn't love it. And I mean, most of their favorite book is the second one, which is Keeping 13. I have actually pre-ordered that, like I'm gonna pick it up in England. What story? do you have to tell? This is almost 800 pages. A Court of Mist and Fury wasn't even that long. But on the other hand, what I have seen is that people are literally like in their bed, they cannot like move because they're like devouring this or like inhaling it. And I've seen so many people say, you wish it was longer. You wish these books were longer. Then the second to last book is a bit of a different one. But again, if, you, if you're true or you're true follower you would know this and there's a series called the helen gray series which is this series over here yeah this is book six and i am so excited so i actually have read book seven already because that's how i like found out it was a series but i'm so excited to read this started this series i think two years ago and i tried to collect all the books secondhand like in secondhand stores and stuff and I do have the full series now. There's a few missing because my mom is reading it as well. This holds such a special place in my little heart. I think the longest chapter I've seen in this book is five to seven pages. But that's like, then there's like high stuff going on and it's a like constantly switching point of view. The only thing that might throw you off is that it's third person. And then the last book of today's video, I know I've been rambling a lot, but I like rambling, so shut the frick. Oh, wildfire. Ah, so I was one of those people that did actually enjoy Icebreaker. Sorry to break it to you. So I, I'm excited to read Wildfire and I've heard so many good things about this. I've seen actually people give this five stars. They were like, this was like 10 times better than Icebreaker. Oh my God, this is like at a summer camp and it's a like workplace, I think. And obviously the third one, I think called Daydream is coming out soon. So then I'm also like kind of up up to date with what's going on because this one has been out for a while and i did get the works version with the sprayed edges so hopefully when daydream comes out the works has another one with the sprayed edges because now i they need, all need to have sprayed edges okay i'm not gonna hold up all the books because then my arm is actually gonna fall off but those were all the books that i kind of want to read right now like if i didn't need sleep or eat or shower or like go outside I would 100% do a 24 hour readathon all the time just so I can read all of these and just so I can like catch up with my time that I've like lost over these past two months that I really have to study. And if I did have the time to read or do something else, I was too exhausted to. Every so watching, I, um, I've decided to kind of switch it up and not do an emoji because usually what I do at the end of the video, I ask you to comment an emoji if you're still watching. But I, saw, I thought it would be cute to do questions. So today the question is what book you're dying to read? and what's like on the top of your like TBR. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye. My poor arm.